Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you all back to my first episode of this season here on the Blockheart server. I don't know what season we are on anymore, but that shouldn't matter too much anyway. I will spend some time right now to explain to you all what Blockheart is for new viewers that will see this. So basically, Blockheart is a Minecraft multiplayer server where a bunch of good friends from all over the world join up to play the game together. Since it's a new season, we restarted the server from scratch, which we do for every new season. All of us will gather supplies and help each other out at the beginning. A big goal for us at the start is to build a community together at the spawn with tons of farms, buildings all over the place, and to also set up a shopping district so that all the players can build their own shops. Every now and then, we will have the pleasure to play together, pull off loads of shenanigans, and we try to set up events for all the players on the server to join. Most importantly, we have a lot of fun, and we enjoy ourselves. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of it. Now with all of that said, for this video I will show you what we have built so far. To start, we have nothing at spawn just yet because we are still planning out what will be placed here. Dino gave us a couple ideas in the discord, we're going to have a bank where people can dispose of stuff they don't need, and something about like a, a gaming area so we could have events for games here. Now I'm going to move on. Actually, before I go over there, just past this, uh, the edge of this hill here, um, I have a staircase that leads all the way down to a spider cave farm that I have found in a mine shaft the, one of the first days mining on this server. Now I'll bring you over here. This area, I've worked on it the most. I've expanded out all these farms over here. I made the fence, the enclosures bigger for the animals, so we can hold more. Uh, that's my little starter house. I can go down and look at it really quick for you guys. My old enchantment table. There's really not much to it. I just used it as a storage. I've already moved pretty much all my items to my new house. That was going to be a chest room, but it's now abandoned. So that's that for the spawn. Well guys, there's nothing left for me to show you here at the spawn. So I'm going to make my way across that pathway to the mountain. And I'll meet you guys over there. Oh yeah. Look at the view of the mountain from here. That's just so cool. I can't wait to see this whole thing filled up with buildings. Okay guys, we've made it across finally. Now there are several things I want to show you on this island before I end the video. To start it off, this mess right here, this would be the zombie farm. This is the design I came up for Sam. Yeah, you just stand down here. Uh, the zombies will go through the water and it'll push them up the bubble elevator. They fall, take a bunch of fall damage and you, you should just have to hit them once. Yeah, most of them are probably one hit, maybe some are two, but the only thing that really matters is that it works. I want to somehow figure out how to make this into a drowned farm, because we could use a lot of the copper. Now I'll bring you over here. The other day, our friend Jinx on this server came over and she helped us make this auto auto breeding auto villager breeding system don't ask me how this works all I know is that when the babies are ready you put a minecart here and it will take them out 
I flip this switch to activate it. Lots of carrots and bread in there for them. She also helped us set up this automatic iron farm, which is very, very helpful. We've already almost got a full chest again. I've already had to empty that a couple times and put it into my own chest at my house. And these are the rest of my items that I need to put into my chest room. Other than that, I've picked up and organized everything. I think that's... Oh, I got one more farm to show really quick. It's all the way up here. Oh my god, my cat. You can't make recording sessions easy for me. So another farm I have is just inside of this hill. Sam and I are planning on using a lot of the bamboo, the new bamboo planks and stuff like that for builds, so I made this automatic bamboo farm and it works really good. I've already emptied a bunch of it as you can see. So that's all that I have for farms to show so far. This is going to be a very big skyscraper. I don't want to talk too much about it because I kind of want to save that for another video. But this was Sam's first house. He's probably going to end up moving it or taking it down because this tower takes up a lot of room. And before he built this, I decided to build a little house beside him in a Japanese style. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Sometimes I feel like it's too pink, but then again, you can never have enough pink. Alright, so now lastly, I want to show you guys what I've built underneath this house. This is what I am most proud of on the server right now, and I've spent several hours building this already. So here we go. Alright guys, so here we are at the entrance to my chest room. There's not a crazy amount of stuff in here, but I did want to detail it enough to make it look good, so I added some lamps, as you can see. I added a chandelier, and I've also added lanterns on posts everywhere so that the whole room is lit up and no mobs can spawn. So the thing about this koi pond, my original idea was to have a cherry blossom tree down in there, but you see I'm, I'm already w so far down that if I dig any further past there, I'm hitting bedrock. So my cherry tree would have been like way up here, and it just wasn't working out, so I decided to do the koi pond instead. Um, I wasn't, when I was barely finished this chest room, I had Dino come in to give me some advice and he liked this idea right here and then he gave me an idea to put little biomes underneath these ones. So here I have an idea, I'm going to build a desert biome, I'm going to collect cats, frogs and cows and I'll put the animals in the biome as well. Over here we have an ice biome. I'm going to get polar bears and snow foxes. And then I'm going to build a taiga biome. And I'm going to collect foxes, rabbits, and wolves and put them all under there as well. So it's going to kind of give every room a little something to look at while you're in there, which is pretty neat. Another thing I've done was add signs so I know what room has what. So everything in here will have building materials. Got lots of deep slates still. Over here is going to be my ores and my goodies. Of course there's my diamonds, gold, iron. Got loads of chains. And here's my farming and animal stuff. I really don't have all that much yet and I still I either want to put item, si item frames on the chest or signs. 
but I'll figure that out eventually. Well guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. My goal for the next video is going to be to build the mini biomes and collect the animals and get them into the right habitats. So if you're all looking forward to that, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.